powered by Riverside. <laughs> Is it powered by Riverside, or is that just what they want you to think? Welcome to GORP, which stands for Government Oligarchs Rule the People. Anyway, uh, today we're talking about um, a very sensitive topic. It's con- uh, conspiracy theories um, just uh, throughout the years and um, how we feel about them, why they're mostly stupid, and who are the stupid people that perpetuate these things? I'm one of them. Uh, and that's uh, Josh. I'm Josh. Hi. <laughs> hey there, I'm Fry. And I'm Brooke. Cool. Uh, welcome, everybody. We got our uh, receptacle as usual. I got a, a soup can of beans um, because it's the closest thing I could think of <laughs> that's similar to a crack pot. You get it? Crack pot ideas. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> You're so creative, and you're such a beautiful artist. I thought you would have made like one of those. I thought you would have made those aluminum uh, helmets as the pulling thing. Oh, I actually did. I, I did. I did, but it's in the other room. Yeah, I didn't want to take off the bandana because the bandana is just really comfortable today. So we're committing. Uh, yeah, committed uh, conspiracy theories from like chemtrails to UFOs. Um. Tupac's alive, etc. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone have like uh, just top of your head, like what's a favorite that comes to mind? Not necessarily that you believe in. Area fifty one. Oh yeah. Yeah, fifty one. That's that's cool. Wonder, whatever happened with the people storming? Uh, the military said we will blow you up. <laughs> 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 yeah, you guys are going to die today if you uh do you I just don't think that there was anybody brave enough to like actually go and do it. But yeah. But but Brooke, <laughs> you, you nodded along with me when I said they were like, We will murder you. Uh, but did you see <laughs> the tweets that were coming out from Nellis Air Force Base? Like, hey, legitimately we're going to kill you. Like that was yes. the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> But people still showed up. Yeah. There was still people that, I. That's wild. Yeah, but it wasn't like Independence Day where they're rolling up in like a bunch of RVs, you know, straight up to the gate with the <laughs> "You need my clearance. Here's my clearance," <laughs> and he shows the alien. No, I didn't have enough. Oh, I was gonna say they had their Uncle Jerry. Uh, this is this is uh, uh this is a reference Josh will get. They had their Uncle Jerry like folding chairs. <laughs> out with their American I wanna see them aliens <laughs> I'm not gonna go bro you go you go first bro um <clears throat> alright let's get to this first topic eh? uh let's go with uh trending what's uh some uh conspiracy theories that have been uh hot in the news or the social meds Past couple years or so. Can I start? Yeah, 100%, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a different route than what's on topic. Well, trending, but just mm-hmm. different. I'm on the side of TikTok where people think that Helen Keller wasn't real. Oh they think she was fake. They think she <laughs> didn't exist. In a, they, they're like, if she was blind to death, there's no way that she could write a book. They... <laughs> It's it's all very millennials, uh, Gen Zs. Also, birds aren't real. Birds aren't real is a good one. I like you that wear one. this, Brian. So the guy got interviewed on 2020. You guys know that, right? The guy, <laughs> yes. And he pretty much they finally he finally broke character on 2020. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> but also, I've seen TikToks where they're like CIA declassified. Um, documents and it's like yeah there are government drones that are shaped like birds look like birds so uh, uh, uh. but uh, just the assertion that all birds are fake (laughs) even in the Amazon the parrots in the Amazon are government surveillance drones is so brilliant and 
it's it's one of those like it's like this the, like for I mean I'm an atheist so I I listen to a lot about the flying spaghetti monster and like yeah that's it's it's ridiculous for the purpose of being ridiculous like it's but people still believe not the spaghetti monster I hope but there's people that believe birds are not real like all the pigeons in Manhattan are watching you pee on the building right well. That- Nobody, nobody needs that intel. Nobody needs that. Guys, if the <laughs> if the birds in the Amazon rainforest are real, who the hell is getting them to take coke? Okay, it's obviously the CIA. Nobody fucking cares, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously the CIA. A uh, duh, uh, stupid. <laughs> Let's go on fish while we're at it. Jeez. Well, I heard one recently. Um, I think it's called the mud flood theory. I don't know if it's, I think that's what it's called. But um, I've only heard a little bit, uh, a couple of TikTok videos, and I looked into it because it was interesting. But it, the the general idea is that people are fi- people throughout history have found that when they're doing work on a building, they notice that there's a whole floor under the ground with windows and everything that have just been covered up. Um, and so they connect the dots on those and they they have surmised that there's a global flood that caused mud, of course, throughout the planet that raised the ground level of the earth and all the governments on earth are covering up that fact. Like it happened centuries ago and we're just like, no, no, don't talk about it. Why wouldn't we talk about it? First of all, now, like this is backed up by the fact that this actually did happen. Like, for instance, in Seattle, Seattle did flood. And so most buildings you go into in Seattle, you're on the, the second floor of the building. There's a whole nother floor under the building because Seattle did flood because Seattle's on the sea level. But that didn't happen to everything, every spot on Earth. It's just, it's just a crazy. Like, why would we even cover that up? What's the point of that? I don't know. What about the the whole centuries ago? <laughs> centuries ago, we had skyscrapers that could sink up to a full story underground. Uh, America's only been around since the 1700s. So, and I'm not yeah. talking about like early 1700s. I'm talking about 1776. All right, and they weren't rocking skyscrapers. They 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 weren't they weren't rocking skyscrapers back then. Like you know what, our first act of business is going to be after these uh <laughs> these amendments and uh to make sure that our and our our uh, future people that are politicians fight over the right to bear these babies. Uh, <laughs> what we should do is build a fucking skyscraper. That's what we should do. First act that'll scare King George. Yeah, you're gonna come ask King George. <laughs> Look at this badass building. <laughs> like, what the hell are we doing? What are we talking about? I've never heard that, but I'm automatically pissed off. That's going to be a running thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I did hear um, recently, uh, I don't know how recently exactly, but I saw the video. It was some guy, Egyptologist guy, who was on Rogan. It was one of those 30 second shorts on YouTube's. Oh, not this again. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. But he just saw that he, he he posits that the Sphinx is much older than the Egyptian culture and they just changed the head from a person to a cat or something or a cat to a person. Um Okay. This one I believe. I believe this. This one's fine. I, it's very possible. I don't I don't see what's the I mean, it's not necessarily a big deal, but yeah, it, it's very possible the sand buried a, a cat statue and i mean it's one of those things like why is that a conspiracy well i, I thought you were going to give me the atlantis one. Oh no i don't know what's the what's some atlantis stuff you know can you know some atlantis oh i don't want i don't want to get dick to deep into it but it basically like uh, apparently there's a documentary that's pretty uh harmful because it's not based in fact i guess at all but it's called like it's on netflix it's called uh ancient disasters or something like that on netflix and it was like top 10 for a long time and uh, it's a couple guys that go on Joe Rogan all the time, and they believe that uh, Atlantis is it's just some wild stuff. I actually did watch it for a little bit, and I was like, all right, this is bullshit. And I stopped watching it. But 
I like that stuff because, like, I mean, it, it's fun to think about fun stuff, right? It's it's not it's nothing that you should really ever invest a lot of your energy into. But I, when I'm when I hear conspiracy theories and stuff, I my mind tries to work it into a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. You know what I mean? Like, it's that's a fun idea. But let's make it a fantasy story because it's, it didn't really happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. Um, I, su- I suppose, like, I'll keep it light because, like, obviously the trendy ones are some of the stuff that Kanye's spitting, some of his conspiracy theories. That's trending because it's Kanye West. The Earth is flat because, for some reason, people don't know how airplanes and boats work. Um but also, yeah, so Kyrie Irving's whole um, st- that, that whole saga. Uh, but anyway, how about this one? This was a fun one for a little while. This is from a couple years ago. But uh, you ready? Babe Ruth is black or was black. He is. That, that was a fun one for a while. Wasn't he black? No, he's a white guy. Based on what we know. I thought that was like, oh. I thought that was a thing. I thought that was like, I thought I learned that in school. No, he's a white guy. No, no, no. You're thinking of Jackie Robinson was the first pro. Oh. Yeah, if you if, if you want, Brooke, uh, just go ahead and do yourself a quick Google. Google Babe Ruth while we're on, and you'll be like, I know that guy. The great Bambino. I'm not, I'm not slow. I know who Babe Ruth is. You know, I think you're slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you that. But... No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I didn't mean you're slow. I mean, like, uh, maybe the conspiracy. Hey, dumbass! Why don't you use fucking do your research? Hey, fuckhead! <laughs> <laughs> maybe I was thinking maybe the conspiracy. <laughs> maybe the conspiracy theory reached up and grabbed you and pulled you down, and you're like, "Baby is black." You're like, "Duh!" Everyone knows that. Love. I thought that was real. Love, death, and Babe Ruth's black. Like. <laughs> what? Come on. What about we try to uh, make one up? So, um, yeah, let's just make one up and see if it tracks. Like the birds aren't real thing. Um, shoot. Okay. 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 So uh, here's my thing. I think. Can I try? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you got one. Go. No, I was just gonna just talk and see what something came out. Oh, of I was. Oh, <laughs> so I, I've got I've got one that I I think uh, you should all know about, and that is you know how people believe in like uh, re uh, reincarnation, right? Reincarnation. That's not real at all. What it is is when we get to a certain age, what happens is we don't get buried or anything. That's what they want you to believe. We actually get pulled in. All bodies, all humans get pulled into a government lab, and you just live the same life over and over again. They have a deep pruning process, is what they call it. Mm. It's deep pruning. Yes, because as you get old, right, your skin, no, that's just your shell, right? And like snake, we need to shed that skin, right? So they call it a deep pruning process. So instead of you being cremated or any of that bullshit, they pull you into a lab, right? And they deep prune you. And then you go back out in your new skin, and you just keep living continuous lives. They're next mm. age. Uh, I think in Hollywood they called they call this uh, drinking children's blood in Hollywood. Drinking yeah. children's blood, the blood of children. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, yep. Yeah, you're just. But what you don't know is it's like the neuralizer. You're just getting flashed, and you're you think you're living new days, and you're aging. But no, you just get reset right back to 18 years old. You live it again. All your memories are false. Well, I believe that all my memories are false, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you're already big, on the right track. Big yikes. You're already on the I'm already track. there. <laughs> <laughs> She's been deep rude. I mean, me too, in general. Um, <laughs> you're one of us. Okay, um, I think... I think there's a world order. There's a a world order of secret society people and they get together on the mountain, uh, Mount hood in Washington every year. And they just gossip. 
little tea. <laughs> they got their little. Mm-mm. No pinky. You got to give me the pinky, bro. Put the pinky up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the new world order. <laughs> <laughs> but no one knows. No one knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody fucking knows. <laughs> They're like wearing hats. <laughs> I love, no, Brooke, the key to that wasn't even the hats. It was the leg cross. When you did the leg cross. Yeah, that's... <laughs> did you hear what Thomas did? <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> Can they play board games, Josh? Do they play board games? Is that something that occurs while they're up there? They play board games, but they don't know the rules. They just they just play. Like they don't. No one's allowed to read the rule books, and no one knows how to play the games. They just play them and gossip, and they decide who's the winner based on the best gossip. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's it sounds like a retirement home, and honestly, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make one up. Um, so we're it's a matrix theory, right? Uh-huh. We're we're controlled by somebody playing a game, but the person playing the game is actually they think that it's a really fun action game, but it's my life and you're just depressed all the time <laughs> because they're they're, <laughs> they're snails. So like to them, everything is exciting. So so Brooke. Brooke, yeah. instead, of, instead of Farmville, they're playing Sadville. <laughs> it was me. You have to pay the bills. <laughs> but they're like they're very advanced people or very advanced species, but they're also just like snails, so they, they find it exhilarating regardless of how depressing your life is. <laughs> That's great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, your dog, they love it. Go, like, your dog has to go to the vet again. <laughs> what is the dog have this time? Oh, the vet got me to pay for something I didn't need again. Dang it! <laughs> Another cancer diagnosis? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I'm gonna. You'll never do. You'll never know what I did on Brooks' game. I lied to my doctor again. <laughs> <laughs> I said I everything was fine. <laughs> yeah, one or two drinks a week. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh my god! Last time I was at the vet, the the VA clinic to talk to my physician, I, I was probably a couple years ago that I talked to him uh, for the initial consult was the first time that I was honest about my drinks per week. And they went, (laughs) Oh, Uh, so stop doing that. Anyway, uh, moving on. (laughs) Um, Clearly ridiculous flat earth. Right. I mean, that's another one that, I mean, the guy who started that was a lot like birds aren't real. He started that just to goof. And it just became a monster, you know, like a Tyler Durden monster. Yeah. You see the way that you line up this telescope, uh, you can see there's no actual crest. You're looking at a uh, mountain there, Tom. <laughs> That's a mountain there, Tom. <laughs> or on that, on that level, too, um, excuse me, moon landing, fake. That's also ridiculous. But, I mean... The simplest explanation that that I've gotten um, is if you look at the videos, it cannot be replicated even today unless you're using CG. And they didn't have CG back then. They had practical effects. No practical effects could create that lighting the way it did because all the shadows are parallel. And that can't be done. It could not have been done back then in any possible – even if you had a trillion dollars of funding, you could not simulate parallel shadows. That's because they were on the moon and the sun was shining on them. That's it. End of discussion. So, but Josh, the flag isn't waving. Oh yeah, because the moon, uh, the wind on the moon is on the other side of the moon. It's only on the other side. Yeah, dumbass. So Josh took out two immediately. Flat Earth. Yeah. 
<laughs> Obviously fake and fake moon landing. Uh, Brooke, do you have one? After he just annihilated two of the biggest ones? I know. <laughs> some ridiculous one. Yeah. UFOs. I mean, but I believe, I kind of believe in some of these things. So I like the idea that pyramids were built by like aliens and they were just put there for funsies. Like, oh, we need to just. That's a, that's fun to think about for sure. Yeah. Like ancient aliens type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, they have the, um, what are those? They're like giant humans. That they think oh, God. in the Southwest, there's like oh, the Anast- Anastasia, Anastasis, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cards in the Hills? Yeah. The Nazca Lines? I thought they were the Nazca Lines. I don't know either. But they're like only visible from above. Like they're so big. Yeah. I thought they were just Andres. The giant? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I don't have any good ones that are ridiculous. Yo, one of my favorites. Um, it's kind of anecdotal because I've only heard it from this one person. But when Dave Chappelle came back for the first time, you know, he had his big comeback um, after 10 years of being out of the camera. Um, <clears throat> I went to a bar like the next day and I was just hanging out and making small talk with the patrons of the bar. And this older lady, she said, that's not Dave Chappelle. And I said, what do you mean? And she said that he was created in a lab by the government. And um, I said, why? Why? <laughs> and she said, easy money, baby. Easy money. And she said, just look at his ears. Look at his ears. It's not the same. He didn't have the same ears. What? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, it's just like, just think about how much it would cost probably to make a full grown human being and then train it to talk like Dave Chappelle and be funny like Dave Chappelle. Like how did. That would cost over trillions of dollars, I'm sure. I'm sure. And so they're not making money off of this project. They're in the hole. Right. Does he have a belly button? I'm good. Much like Elvis. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds but why? Yeah. Why? why would they? Mine, uh, I guess the one that comes to mind since you, you brought up one like you just had a conversation about. So this is actually one that people have said before, but I thought it was mostly in jest, right? Just joking around. Uh, the, the government's turning people gay. Right. And I, I ran into I ran into somebody that like truly believed this. And you know when you're just feeling it and you're like, you know what? I'll engage. Throw throw me your best uh the government's turn us gay. And they go, You gotta think about it, man. Population control. Well, how would it help population control if gay people still wanna have kids? And they go, Oh, those those are fake gays. And I'm fake like, What's a fake gays? <laughs> That's a cool TV like, show. <laughs> We're fake <laughs> gays, baby. So I go, what's, what, would a, what would a fake gay be? And they go, oh, it's a facade. It's all a facade. They're not actually gay. And all I could think of, all I could think, so as you guys can see, like, I'm not getting any. It's a fallacy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not, as you guys can see, I'm not getting any real answers from this individual about, like, if, if this real and I'm like I'm like I'm pretty certain like maybe just people are gay and that's okay like we can be fine with that there doesn't have to be a reason behind it <laughs> they're like they're like and they go and this is where I knew it went off the rails they're like biblically there weren't gay people and I'm like okay I'm done You've never heard of Sodom and Gomorrah like yeah we can't we, we can't do this anymore. <laughs> yeah. uh- Here's a little note for the public. If you're getting all of your historical facts from a religious book that has a uh, very specific religious <laughs> movements, uh, maybe maybe go read a different book for once. Just a couple of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, um, I mean, specifically Bible, in those times, being gay was just being alive. Like, it was, it was not a thing. Like, Lots of people had sex with other men for fun. It was just what you did. Just the spectrum was wide open. Yeah, there was a whole Greek army. There was a whole Greek army that slept with their partner and battled with their partner. So everybody, just calm down. We're fake gay, okay? <laughs> I'm, t- I'm kind of real gay. So this like you're gonna you're gonna know it's. <laughs> But we're going to know it's fake, Brooke, when you want a baby. And then we're going to be like, that's the facade. That's the facade. There it is. 
All right, let's change it up. Okay, we got uh, probably true. Okay, so we're going from ridiculous to probably true. Okay, so um, um, it's ridiculous to think that the government's trying to make you gay. And I've hear I've heard that it's like if you if you watch um if you watch if you if you're paying attention to Black Twitter I do because it's funny and awesome. Um, there's a lot of folks that think specifically the government is trying to turn the black man gay, feminize them in order to ruin the black family so they can never rise up and overcome. Um, I think that's ridiculous. But what is actually true is um, they broke up the black family by introducing drugs to the community and taking industrial jobs out of the city and making it not available to a suburban black family to have a job at the factory because the factory shut down. It's moving out to Texas now. So that, that was like documented actually happened. You know what I mean? No, it did. Yeah. <gasps> Yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to play the other guy at the other end of the bar. <laughs> That's yeah. all I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what research you do, but on the Google. <laughs> That's a good one. Probably true. Um, I think Bigfoot is probably true. I think that, I mean, who's to say that there isn't some type of hybrid human giant figure living out in woods and surviving? Maybe they have heat sensors like thermo guns in their head. It's not a crazy thermo idea guns that somewhere. In their head. Now I just got this image of Bigfoot. Sorry, Josh, I just trampled you. I'm so sorry. I just got this image. With freaking lasers attached to their heads. Yes, that god is like his. He sees a person, and then like it's like a like a, like Terminator or Robocop. He's like. Uh, and like this is why no one's seen him he just flies them yeah with his laser eyes <laughs> now, now, now we know now we know for a fact that all those people that went missing in the woods they're gone it was Bigfoot. yeah they saw Bigfoot, it was Bigfoot. Yeah, and it ended badly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Josh mm -hmm. what was that movie we saw in the theater it had like Jonah Hill and um, it had a uh, no, no, no. It has Jonah Hill and Steve Zahn where they discover Bigfoot. And they all shoot the shit out of Bigfoot in the cave. It's like <laughs> it, you laughed at that movie forever because of the shark. And it goes, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you don't remember? It? No, you I don't just, think that's a real thing. No, it's a movie with Jonah Hill. Call the wild. No, Josh, you. When we saw this movie in the theater, there's a shark, and it's like teeth are all jacked up, and they're making a nature movie. And then so they have it, and then Steve Zahn's like, look at this shark. And then he's like, oh, 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 oh. And Josh used to walk around the dorms and go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember that movie, yeah. That was a good one. That was uh, underrated. And then uh, Jonah Hill's wearing a thong because it's comfortable. Yeah, I remember that. I don't know. You want mine or are we good? Sorry. Lots can come with Bigfoot. I got a lot on Bigfoot. <laughs> Probably true. Um, I think not in the way that it's inferred. Fixed elections. It's not as cut and dry as a lot of people make it out to be. I don't want to go down that the fact road. that we still. I mean, I just, I, okay. Okay. That's a scary I think the point. fact that we have an electoral college is that's a fixed election. As an American, yeah, yeah. if you think that you have control over any part of your government, you're silly. No, I, I, you're silly. I think we should have a popular, I think we should still, everybody you knows we should go to a popular vote. Like at this point in time with the technology yeah. we have, like I think everybody's aware and then they're like, oh, but the smaller or marginalized communities, yeah, but they have localized governments in their communities. They can vote for however they want to vote in their communities. Like honestly, mm -hmm. people don't understand. The presidential election affects them almost none, especially if you're a smaller community. So you just vote for your local elections in your 
little uh, wants and needs, and you could pass all the shit you want. It doesn't matter. No, go imagine if all the people what all the people that are so worked up about poop their pants. all that. If ever all the people poop their pants, um, <laughs> then we'd have a mud flood. Um, Sorry, go ahead. And, <laughs> um, but if they put that effort that they do on QAnon and just put it towards going to the the council meetings. And like getting involved in the local community and yeah. putting stop signs up and taking care of homeless people, wow! Like your direct John, lifestyle yeah. would be like benefited instead of you just going and being on Reddit and being angry. Josh, they're doing, and then they would feel good. They're, they're doing real like they work. They would feel good. They're doing for Josh Brooke. They're doing real work. Okay, they're discovering all those real work. They're, they're, they're discovering <laughs> all those people that are meeting in the basement of some pizza factory somewhere. <laughs> I believe is the theory, and drinking the blood of the innocents. All right, uh, mine is probably true. I said some of this, not all of this, but uh, probably some of what we know to, or think about the Illuminati or the Grand Masons. Some of that's probably true. Not all of it. Some of it gets a little ridiculous, like they're running the whole world. And I think there's pieces. Yeah, I don't think there's Jay-Z pieces. Is I mean, the, the Freemasons is a life, but. <laughs> right, but the Freemasons is a huge, like, like bigger than the U.S. military organization. Yeah. It's a gigantic yeah. organization. Yeah. So to yeah. think that they don't have any poll is a little strange. Um, and they've been tracked all the way sure. back. And to then the I colonies, actually, I believe, right? They've been tracked all the way back to maybe even before the colonies. Before the colonies, they go back to Solomon. Like they go back all the way. Um, in different, you know, different practices, but essentially they, you know. Anyway, um, but uh, then then you also think about like I I heard a Carlin quote recently because someone was talking to Carlin on a talk show and the guy said there's no grand conspiracy to uh, you know rig this and rig that but then Carlin said you don't have to have you don't have to have a grand conspiracy all these people went to the same college they all shared the same prostitutes and shared drugs and like they went to the same country clubs. They don't have to even communicate. They all know what they all want and they help each other out just naturally because they don't, they only care about their way of life. And so like, they don't even have to have a conspiracy clandestine meeting to talk about this. Like they all know what needs to happen. Kind of like and that. it's Cause it's like, you know, they're not all running around in hoods, you idiots. They're doing it. Yeah. While they play yeah. around the they're just, <laughs> they're just yeah playing a little golf <laughs> and like they don't even have to communicate about their secret desires for the the government and stuff like it's just a natural thing like how you you naturally know that you shouldn't slap people in public it's how they know that they should put the man down or they should be the man and put everyone down it's just a natural power dynamic the slap card dude i would like um Okay, okay. Here's what it is. You you are allowed to slap two people per year with impunity, or you can point at anyone, whether they're on TV or not, once per year, and they crap the pants. I go with cr- pants crapping. Mud flood. <laughs> oh, no! I thought you were going to give my slap card that I've been pitching since the dorms. Like, you get one slap card a month. Yeah, you get one slap card a month. And you can hold it, or some people will blow through it right away, you know? So there will always be that person that's like, nope, got to use it right now. And then they don't have to slap her for the rest of the month. But then there's people that will save it and be like, woo, I've been waiting all month. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, slap card, cool. Last topic, though, um, it's called, oh, dropped it. Did it says drop why, it though, hot? as in... What was the purpose of this conspiracy? Like, who is this benefiting? Right? Like, um, for instance, the 9-11 conspiracy that we did it. God. um, The why would be so we could go to war and take that oil. But some of them are ridiculous. Like, why would we fake a school shooting? You're talking about fucking uh, Alex Alex Idiot? For real. Alex Alex Dumbass? Yeah, that moron. Um... Mm-hmm. And then chemtrails is another one. Why? Oh, well, that one. There you go. go. That one is uh, they're they're saying that the government is trying to push fluoride and other chemicals so that they can still control us. The the fluoride is doing what to my brain? Yeah. So you have a pineal gland in your brain. 
and uh, they're releasing fluoride and you're eating fluoride and it uh, calcifies that pineal gland uh-huh. so that you can't um, think for yourself, basically. Okay. And you're like, this is a very, uh, this is a very common uh, thing in like the crunchy community. The crunchy it, community. A lot of people believe this. What is the crunchy yeah, community? The hippie. Um, it's like hippies, crunchy granola girls. Okay. All right. It's me. It's me. I just think you guys are awesome. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with with that. Why do you have to be crunchy? Oh, it's a granola girl. So oh, they. So that's not because you consider yourself hippie culture, right? Yeah. So is granola yeah. like an offshoot of a hippie culture, or would you be considered? I'm not trying. I'm doing my best to ask you a direct no. question without you feeling insulted. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> um, no, hippie. Uh, cr- Crunchy is like granola girl, which is just like a, uh, I don't know, a, a more wealthy hippie. Mm-hmm. I think that's like the best way to put it. Okay. Gotcha. A fake. I don't know. A fake. Yeah. They're a fake hippie. Yeah. They're the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, man. They have an episode of American Dad uh, where Jeff Fisher, who's Haley's uh, like boyfriend, and Steve, like, he's like, you're my my uh, brother-in-law steve so he takes him to a fish concert and he calls like oh posers i guess he calls them posers because they're like rich guys that show up to fish concerts with big old rvs yep. and stuff yes yeah, like, yeah do you watch american dad Brooke? a little bit oh but, you should check yeah. out that episode it's like one of the most recent like season 18 on hulu or something you would laugh at that episode uh because of what you just that's said pretty, about that's pretty spot on okay <laughs> oh so i guess but why though for me would be, I, I want to do the flat earth. I want to do aliens are real. But why though? Huh? Yeah, Cause I think, right. well, aliens, I think they're covering up mass panic. Same with zombies, things like that. If it was in fact a real thing, they're probably just trying to prevent mass panic and that's, but why? So I guess I would just stick with flat earth. Why? Why? What do we have to gain by telling you the earth is round? What comes from that? Like what, what has made our lives innately better? Because we were like, hey, guess what, everybody? The Earth is, uh, we're going to tell everybody the Earth is round. I don't know why I went all Hank Hill there. But, uh, like, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't understand why why we would make that up. Like, what what did we get from that? So I suppose that's my but why. I love you. No idea. I love you so much, everyone that believes the Earth is flat. But I just, I, I, I don't understand why you would believe that or what we would have to gain. Maybe they'll let us know. Yeah, maybe they'll tell us later. <laughs> All right, so I think that about does it. Uh, Brooke, do you have anything you want to close the show with? Anything you want to add? No. All right. Nothing. Your your Instagram is first and last name backwards or last and first name backwards? I actually changed my Instagram handle. Oh. It's now Brooker Loves. Brooker Love. B R O O K E R L O V E? L O V E S. Oh, you didn't, I thought you were just more creative than that. I thought it'd be like L-U-V, uh, L heart. No, I'm just kidding. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. Okay, got it. That makes my life so much easier. <laughs> so that way I can add it on your stuff and we can get you some credit, right? And if you want to reach a show, just holler at us at The Gorp Show uh, on Instagram at The Gorp Show or Gorp Show on Instagram at Gorp Show on Twitter. You could reach us all. At the sad fan, one word, the sad fan media podcast group. You could, uh, that's on YouTube, pardon me. And you can reach me at the sad fan. And you can reach the show at the sad fan cast. As Josh would say here, if he was available and his internet hadn't killed him, and it really did kill him, there's going to be an investigation. Keep corporate, everybody. <laughs>